Hello guys. When you open the Google Play Store, it feels like you're just downloading a few apps, right? But behind the scenes, something else is happening. Every time you browse, search, or install an app, Google may be quietly collecting information about you, your location, your app usage, your device habits, even how long you stay inside certain apps. These activities are often hidden under settings that most people never even look at. And while some of this data is used to improve your experience, a lot of it is used for targeted ads, marketing, and even behavioral tracking. If you value your privacy, or if you simply don't want giant companies knowing everything about your daily habits, you need to take control. That's why in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly which Play Store settings you need to turn off right now. Step by step, I'll guide you through each option and explain why leaving even one of them enabled could leave your personal information exposed. So make sure you watch all the way through and don't skip any step. Before we dive in, take a second to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss any important videos like this one. All right, let's get into it. location permission from Play Store, go to your phone's settings, then apps. Scroll down and find Google Play Store. Tap it, go to permissions, and if you see location is allowed, turn it off. Now you might be wondering, why does the Play Store even need my location? The truth is, in most cases, it doesn't. The Play Store uses your location to suggest region-specific apps or to personalize your experience. But it can also use that data to feed into Google's ad system and track your regional behavior over time. And unless you're downloading an app that specifically requires location access at install, this permission is unnecessary. By disabling it, you're cutting off one more way your data can be quietly collected and used in the background. So take a second and remove that location access. Your privacy will thank you. Two, turn off data collection in Play Protect. Let's talk about Play Protect. This is Google's built-in security system that helps protect your device by scanning apps for harmful behavior. And yes, it's a good feature to have, but hidden inside Play Protect is a setting that most people don't notice and it's one that quietly shares information about how you use your apps. Here's how to find it. Open the Play Store, tap your profile picture in the top right corner, then select Play Protect. Once you're there, tap the Settings icon in the top right to open Play Protect settings. You'll see two options. First, scan apps with Play Protect. This one should stay on. It helps keep your phone safe by checking apps for malware. But the second one, Improve harmful app detection is the one we need to focus on. This setting sends details about the apps you've installed and how you use them back to Google and possibly even developers, all in the name of improving app detection. While it may sound helpful, it's another form of data collection that most people don't actually need. So go ahead and turn that one off. You'll still get protection from Play Protect, but you'll stop sending out extra data about your app behavior in the background. Now let's proceed to the next one. Three, turn off app install optimization. This one is important because it helps the Play Store automatically optimize how your apps are installed, but it comes with a catch. Here's how to access it. First, open the Play Store, then tap your profile photo in the top right corner. From the menu, go to settings, then tap about. If you see an option to update Play Store, go ahead and update it. The app optimization setting we want to turn off may only appear after your Play Store is up to date. I have already updated mine. Once you've updated the Play Store, head back to Settings and tap on General. In the General section, tap on App Install Optimization. Now you'll see a toggle to turn this feature off. And here's why you should. App Install Optimization sends data about what you're doing in apps, how you interact with them, and what you're installing. Back to Google. Not only does this mean more data collection, but it can also slow down your phone and drain your battery, 
because it's constantly optimizing installations in the background. So go ahead and turn this off. You'll save some battery and reduce unnecessary data sharing, all while keeping your phone running smoothly. Four, optimize app battery usage. Many apps you install through the Play Store are set to use battery power without any restrictions, and that can drain your phone much faster than you realize. Here's how you can fix it. Open the Play Store and tap your profile photo at the top right. Scroll down and tap Help and Feedback. In the search bar at the top, type the word Delete. Then tap on Delete Apps on your Android device from the results. Next, tap the link that says Go to Application Settings. This will open a full list of all the apps installed on your device. Now, tap the Sort button, usually the three dots at the top right, and choose Sort by Last Used. Then tap OK. Start by selecting any app. Let's say WhatsApp app as an example. Tap on it, scroll down, and tap on Battery. If you see that it's set to unrestricted, that means the app is allowed to use as much battery as it wants, even when you're not using it. That's not great for your device's performance or battery health. Instead, change it to Optimize. Optimize mode allows the app to work normally when you need it, but limits its battery use when it's running in the background. You should repeat this process for any major apps that don't need constant unrestricted access to your battery. Doing this will improve your phone's battery life and overall speed, and it stops apps from running wild without you even knowing it. Step five, delete your advertising ID. For our final step, let's make sure apps and advertisers can't quietly track you through something called an advertising ID. On your Android phone, open the Settings app, then scroll down and tap Google. Select All Services, now tap Ads. Here, you'll see an option that says Delete Advertising ID. Go ahead and tap it, then confirm. What this does is erase your device's unique advertising ID so that apps can't follow you around and build a profile for targeted ads. You'll still see ads, but they'll be way less personal and it will be much harder for companies to track your behavior. Remember, companies like Google collect information because most of the time we unknowingly give them permission. But by spending just a few minutes adjusting these settings, you're taking back control of your personal data and making sure your phone works for you, not for advertisers. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps more people find important information like this. And if you're serious about protecting your privacy, improving your device's performance, and getting smart tech solutions and tips, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you never miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.